Uh, SB 490 has to do with eliminating trans fat uh, K through 12 schools in the vending machines and the on-site commercial vendors, the Taco Bells and the other establishments. Now, what kind of products are we talking about? We're talking about uh, products, uh, a lot of products with trans, trans fats would be, you know, chips and crackers and uh, those kinds of things. And so what I'm trying to do is to say that we should not be using trans fats in those foods because they're really um, metabolic poisons. And they were originally used to make candles uh, and shouldn't be ingested in the human body. Now, uh, would this also include the cafeterias themselves? Not the cafeteria food, just the uh, vending machines and the uh, commercial vendors. So a while ago, we, we started looking at vending machines for schools and, you know, trying to get more uh, apples and, and waters instead of sodas. But there is, now this is this other item that we keep, that we come up with, trans fats. Right, because what we've seen is that trans fats uh, really can lead to diabetes and obesity, obesity, heart disease. And our children have a, um, a much larger percentage are obese than we're five or 10 or 15 years ago. It's not a, a good sign, and so we really need to see that in school that our children are nutritionally safe. I mean, I really hope this bill, which is on the governor's desk, I really hope that it'll get signed into law, and I hope that a lot of people will urge the governor to sign it.